Hello class and welcome to Miss Hammond's science lesson today. I am so excited to get this lesson started. I have some really, 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 really fun activities for you guys to do today. But to get started, I want to go ahead and tell you this lesson's title. Today we are going to be learning about the parts of a plant. So before we go any further, I want you to stop and I want you to think about your favorite plant. I have my idea of my favorite plant in my head and I want you to think about the different parts that you see in your favorite plant. So we might not know the names of those parts yet, but I know that we can visualize some of those plants. So today in this lesson, we are going to learn about four different kinds of parts that are in a plant. And I actually have my very own plant here today to show you in our lesson. So to go ahead and get started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my plant. This is my plant that I have brought for you today. Isn't it beautiful? Smells lovely. This is actually a plant that I got for my mother for her birthday. So I brought it to class today to share with you and help us learn about the parts of the plant. So one of my parts is missing from my plant, but we'll get to that. Okay, so the first part of the plant that I want you to remember, and it's super, super easy because we kind of already know this, is this part at the top. I'll show you that. This part of the top is actually called the flower, and we totally already knew that, right? We totally already knew that. So this part of the plant is so super duper important because this part of the plant actually helps make seeds. See these tiny little seeds? Can you see those? Those actually can make new plants that look just like this one. Isn't that super cool? So bees and butterflies and other things can take the pollen and transfer it and make other plants. Super cool. So what's this top part called of the plant? The first part of the plant is the flower. Very good. Okay, so the next part of the plant that we're going to learn about, remember we're going to learn about four, we've already learned about one, the flower. The next part is the leaves. Can everyone see my leaves on my flower? This is the second part of the plant. The leaves have a very important job as well. So the leaves actually catch the sunlight. So you know that's, that our plant, we've already learned that our plants need sunlight to grow. These leaves actually catch the sunlight and they make the, the plants food from the sunlight. So this plant has to eat just like we eat. Like we like to eat mashed potatoes and spaghetti, but these plants like to eat sunlight to be able to survive. So a little bit different than us because we can't survive just on sunlight, right? But our plants, that is one of the things that it needs to survive. And these leaves right here, can we all see my leaves? Soak up the sunlight and makes food. Really cool. So we've learned about two different types of the parts of the flower. We've learned about this. I'm sorry. We've learned about the flower and we've learned about the leaves. So the third part of my plant is the stem. Can everyone see my long, beautiful stem? This long, just stick looking thing is called the stem. And this stem has an important job as well. So all of my parts of the plant have very, very important jobs. This part of the stem actually brings water to the plant. So what another component that we've learned that our plants need to survive is water. So the water comes up through the stem and nourishes the plant and that is its very important job. Another role of the stem is to keep the flower or the plant standing up beautifully and not toppling over so that it doesn't get good sunlight. So the stem has to be nice and sturdy and strong. See how I'm just holding it at the bottom and it is just standing straight up because the stem is so strong and sturdy. That is the third part of the plant. So we have our flower, our leaves, our stem, and our last part of the, of the plant I actually don't have today, but I'm gonna let you close your eyes and imagine the last part of the plant that we need is the root. So this, the root has actually been cut out of this plant, but if this were still in the ground and it was still growing straight from the ground, the roots would be under the dirt. So we wouldn't be able to see the roots most of the time because they are under the dirt, under the soil, but the roots have a very, very important job. The roots in the plant 
it's like a straw. So can you imagine drinking from a cup? And drinking some a big glass of ice water. So the straw sucks up all the water from the dirt. And our plants get thirsty just like we do, right? So the roots have a very important job of sucking up all that water and bringing it up to the stem so that the plants get the correct nutrients. Um, and it also helps keep the plant in place when it is still growing in the ground. So we're, we have learned four different parts of the plant. We've learned the we've learned the roots. Remember, they're not here, but they just look like kind of veiny little tiny sticks growing out from the plant. We learned about the roots, the stem, the leaves, and the flower. So we've learned about four very important parts of the flower today, parts of the plant. So today I have some really, really fun activities for you to do, and I'm super excited for you to get going because I think you're going to have a really good time with this. Um, I'm going to have a link that's going to send you to our activities page. After you watch this video, I want you to, there is a read aloud story that I'd like you to read that really just reiterates what I just taught you about the four parts of the plant. And then there's a fun dance video that, um, you can dance along with and have a lot of fun with and I want you to watch that video as well and sing along with it if you can watch it a couple of times have some fun with it and then you are going to get to create your very own plant so this I don't want you to go outside and pick a plant and take a picture of it and be done I want you to with your parents help go around your house searching and find some cool different parts of a plant that you can create with food or something in your book bag or some of your dad's tools with his permission or some of your clothes, anything. I want you to make your own plant and it's going to be so fun. I can't wait for you to do it. So you can take a pencil and use that as your stem and then put a marshmallow on top with some um, toothpicks as your flower and your leaves. Just have so much fun with this. Do not go out and buy anything. I want you to just use anything and everything that's in your house. And then there's going to be some detailed instructions about, I want you to take a picture of your, of your plant that you make, and I want you to post it on um, a website. And I'll have the link for our classroom group for you to post. So I all, the last thing that I want you to do is, and this is going to take some of you out of your, outside of your comfort zone, but bear with me. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this and I think that you're really going to like it as soon as you get comfortable and um, have fun with this. I want you to go on your mom's phone, on your computer, on whatever works, wherever you have a webcam and I want you to record yourself creating a song. I want you to come up with a song that helps you remember the four parts of a plant. So what are the four parts of the plant? Root, stem, leaf, and flower. And I want you to create a really, really fun song. I know that sounds crazy, but I think you're going to have so much fun with this. And it's going to help you remember the four parts of the plant. So the song does not have to be long. It can be less than a minute. Just anything that you think is fun. And you're going to upload that. And you're going to email me that video. And then... I'll have maybe a few volunteers that would be willing to share those with the class. And I think we're going to have a really good time singing and dancing along to these songs. And it's really going to help us remember the parts of our plant. All right. Thank you so much and have so much fun with this.